Acts chapter 10, verse 1. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of what was called the Italian regiment. Right, So he was a Gentile, a devout man, and one who feared God with all his household, who gave alms, key, this is key right here, gave alms generously to the people and prayed to God always. About the ninth hour of the day, he saw clearly in a vision an angel of God coming in and saying to him, Cornelius. And when he observed him, he was afraid and said, what is it, Lord? So he said to him, your prayers and your alms, your gifts, your money, have come up for a memorial before God. This is a fulfillment or a reference, at least, of Exodus chapter 30. Not very often do you ever read that kind of terminology in the Bible. A memorial before God. Something that you do comes up as a memorial before God. This is not something that you, you read of often. But in Exodus chapter 30, it talks about how this works. Exodus 30 verse 11, the Lord said to Moses saying, when you take a census of the children of Israel for their number, then every man shall give a ransom. So this is the money. Give a ransom for uh, himself to the Lord when you number them, that there may be no plague among them when you number them. Wait a second. Giving alms or giving gifts, charitable gifts, giving these gifts, giving this monetary gift actually atoned for their sin, so that there would be no plague among them. Verse 13, this is what everyone among you who are numbered shall give. Everyone included among those who are numbered from 20 years old and above shall give an offering to the Lord. Verse 15, the rich shall not give more, the poor shall not give less than half a shekel. So basically it's like a price that's set. This is this is what you're this is the money you're to give. No matter who you are, that's that's what you give. To make atonement for yourselves. And you shall take the atonement money, atonement money. There's the alms, the charitable gifts right there. You shall take the atonement money of the children of Israel and shall appoint it for the service of the tabernacle of meeting that it may be a memorial for the children of Israel before the Lord to make atonement for yourselves. That's what we see going on here in Acts chapter 10. Cornelius, centurion, at that, of the Italian regiment who gave alms. There's the atonement money. There's the money. Angel came and said, your prayers and your alms came up as a memorial before God. You don't see that often at all in the scriptures, but you see it in Exodus chapter 30 right there. There, that's the principle right there. That's, that's the concept that's going on in Acts chapter 10. So yeah, this particular passage is clear, another piece of clear evidence that the Torah was not done away with, you know, when Yeshua was nailed to the cross. God's laws were not nailed to the cross. God forbid. It was still in full effect 